Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I've been wanting to do this project for quite a while. Um, somewhere along the line, I saw a video by Peddler's Medley, and I will put a link to that video. He did marbled paper. Now, these are marbles. And I had been hunting marbles. I wasn't going to go spend a lot of money on marbles, but uh, at the thrift store, mm, last time we went for the pound sale, oh, and since I saw that video, that was the first time I had seen it. Since I saw that video, uh, my friend Janet mentioned doing this, and uh, I, so I know that uh, several people do this, but I just wanted to play with it, and I had gotten the marbles at the uh, pound sale, the thrift store, so I'm just going to play with this. Now, this is just, uh, this is, well, it says dry roasted peanuts. It's a box. It's about a three inch deep box. It just happened to be the one box that holds this particular paper. This is just a uh, legal size copy paper. And I put some color on it because I didn't want, I wanted to have a base is all. Um, this is, I don't know what's all going to happen, but the other thing is, is that it was so funny because when I saw the Peddler's Medley um, video, not only did he do the marbles to marble paper, he had gotten one of these little jot marbling kits. And I had just the week before bought the kit. So um, this, this, these videos are going to be nothing really new, but uh, it's just me playing with this. And since I was going to play, I thought I'd bring it out and let you see it and see what, whether or not it's fun. Um, and thank you, Janet, for mentioning this too, because uh, it reminded me that I had really wanted to do it. Of course, I put the marbles somewhere and couldn't find them for several days. Uh, because I have this pretty purpley blue or tur turquoisey blue, I'm going to use um, purple iris. And I'm just going to put a couple of dots of paint and we're going to play and see what happens. that sound is is kind of unnerving I may turn the sound off but isn't that fun okay I'm gonna turn the sound off and uh, let you watch so that you don't have to listen to those uh, <laughs> marbles go back and forth all over the place the thing I'm thinking is, is that I need to let the paper dry a little bit in between so that, uh, let's see, if I get them in there, so that the, uh, I can do some different colors too. So let's just turn the sound off and try it again. And I'll be back in a little while to, we'll talk it over.
okay? I think that you get the idea. <laughs> um, it, it's a lot of fun, actually. Uh, I, I really like some of the papers I'm getting. Let me set this. Now I have some beautifully uh, painty marbles. The I'm gonna have. They're all speckled. So. But I really like how much fun it is to make painty paper this way. This is awesome. Um, I do like that I had gone ahead and put uh, some color down beforehand. I can't really lay these together. The um, By laying some color down ahead of time, you get uh, more of a pattern, I think, than you would if you just had just the painty paper. Let me get that last one up there because it's really fun. Okay. And what I did there was I just uh, put in one color at a time. I think if you tried to put all the colors in you wanted at one time, um, it would turn into mud. Uh, that's That would be my guess is that the, as the marbles rolled around in it, it would just turn brown. Because when I go to clean off my marbles, the paint is pretty brown. So this is just one more way to make painty paper, and it was fun. It was a little noisy. Um, this was fun. I think it looks like it's got trees in it. Um, I hope you had fun watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And thank you, Janet and Peddler's Medley, for the idea. I uh, hope you guys have a great afternoon. Go make some art. And like I said, give it a thumbs up if you like it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe.